Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. Today I'm going to be comparing the AMD FX 6300 against the more pricier AMD FX 8350. Now, if you're in the market for an AMD CPU and you're on the AM3 Plus socket, you definitely had a look at these two CPUs. And obviously, you can get the more pricier 9590, but with the FX 8350 being such a good overclocker, not many people would find that good value for what you get. So that leaves me with these two processors and if you're having a bit of trouble deciding which one you want then this video may help you make up your mind. So the FX 6300 is a 6 core CPU. It comes with a base clock of 3.5 GHz but does boost up to 4 GHz. And with the FX 8350 it is actually a quad core CPU but with each core split into two modules it does come out as an 8 core CPU so it is going to be better for multi-threading um, applications and highly threaded um, games. Anyway obviously the main point is there's a 52 pound difference between the two CPUs in the UK as of today's date and obviously that's uh, to some people that might be quite a bit of money so uh, obviously you really want to know what you're getting for that. So I've decided to compare a few games for you guys and also do a video rendering test just to see what does uh, perform the best when it comes to highly threaded applications as well as gaming. I'm going to be pairing these two CPUs with a single GTX 980 and with the speed of that card if any of the CPUs can't keep up then they'll definitely be exposed in this video. So in project cars as you can see the FX8350 edging out the 6300 by about 10 frames per second that also translates into the minimum frames per second as well so you can definitely see the value for money in the FX6300 but if you want a little bit more performance then the FX8350 is definitely the way to go for project cars.
what Boudicca said. We scout, we set traps, we stay alert. We got reports of Roman activity all over this region. They've lost their general and they're gonna do everything to get him back. If you hear anything, anything, you oh, are a little Roman all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace your death. So the results are in for Rise Son of Roman. As you can see, the AMD FX8350 pretty much leaving the FX6300 for dead. 17 frames per second on average faster. And um, the minimums were pretty poor on both CPUs, but um, it has to be said that the FX8350 is on a different level when it comes to Rise Son of Rome. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. And we'll chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams in flight. And we'll fly. But the Witcher 3 results are a little bit more interesting than what we've seen so far. As you can see there was a very very small increase of three, about 3 frames per second on average and about 5 frames per second on the minimum so not too much difference in this game so you can see the FX6300 is incredible value for what you get. Again we see the AMD FX8350 stretching his legs over the FX6300. It seems to really like the cry engine 3 and we see an increase of 15 frames per second on average. And also in the minimums it's around about the same so definitely something to consider if you love the cry engine 3 games. Ok guys that's it for the benchmarks, now I'm going to move on to some multi-threaded applications. The one I'm going to use in particular is 
um, my video editing software which is Cyberlink Power Director. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one of my old projects which is around 9 minute 36 long and it's uh, rendered in 1080p at 60fps. So what I'm going to do is stick a timer up on both um, videos um, so we can see what the FX8350 does and what the FX6300 does at the same time. So the timer is there just to show that I'm not manipulating the speed of any of the videos and uh, the CPU that finishes first is the clear winner. So as you can see the FX8350 completely obliterating the FX6300 when it comes to multi-threaded applications and it's still rendering as you can see so for the interest of time I'm just gonna end this clip and forward it to the end of the, the video so you can see just how much of a gap there was between the two CPUs. So that's the end of the rendering on the FX6300 side. As you can see there's about a 1 minute 47 second um, gap between the two CPUs and this may not seem like much um, for a 10 minute video but you try doing a, an average film which is about an hour and a half then that time's going to add up so it's definitely worth the money for the FX8350 if you're someone that does a lot of video rendering. So that pretty much wraps up my comparison between the FX8350 and the FX6300. As you can see AMD pretty much dominating um, this side of the market um, below sub £150 when it comes to processors. You'd be lucky to get an Intel i3 um, for that price and it's definitely not going to outperform um, the pair of these CPUs so um, definitely if you're getting into gaming or getting into PC gaming for the first time and you don't want to spend too much money then the FX6300 is uh, definitely something to seriously consider if you're just into gaming but if you want to do a bit of video editing as well 
um, I would say stretch the extra money for the FX8350 because it's definitely going to make a world of difference and um, you'll also get a bit more performance if you choose to go with a bit of a higher end GPU as you can see the FS6300 struggling to tame the beast that is a GTX 980 so overall um, if it was my money um, I'd definitely go with the FX8350 I think when it comes to buying PC components adding that extra few pounds to get that higher end component really does um, pay dividends so um, I would definitely recommend the FX8350 over the FX6300 but um, obviously is there's there's pros and cons to everything in life and um, with that is there's more power draw with the FX8350 and there's more heat as well so there's that to consider so um, I think they're both decent CPUs for the price and um, I think AMD's definitely done well um, with the pricing and uh, yeah I definitely recommend both of these if you're just looking for a, a good performing budget CPU for the FX6300 and a decent mid-range CPU you can't really get any better than the FX8350 anyway guys that's enough for me hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching